welcome Katie onto the set. She's a blogger, katieovercancer.com. I think the name of your blog says it all there. You're from Bozeman, but you're in Billings today. You are speaking at the Women Leading Montana Conference um, in Billings today. So mm -hmm. um, tell us how they went about selecting you and may what made you stand out, you think? Oh. <laughs> I um, have been really fortunate in that I've shared my story publicly mm -hmm. and it has created a very supportive, engaging community. Mm -hmm. And I think that's exactly what they were looking for with women leaders across the state who are interested mm -hmm. in not only professional growth, but personal growth as well. All right, and you are a breast cancer survivor. Um, looking back at some of your posts, very intimate, you're very open about your experience so far. Um, what has been your, your experience? I was diagnosed with an aggressive stage three breast cancer at age 33, mm -hmm. just four days after I started a new business. And so we've had a very difficult, but also very amazing, really, time of growth and change and mm -hmm. coming into myself as I struggled through the really difficult parts of breast cancer mm -hmm. and um, also just kind of building a new family and support group around me. You know, and something I noticed um, just recently with the way social media is, it's almost like a highlight reel of our life, but mm -hmm. you were able to break past that and you were your honest, open self. Um, was that easy to do or what was your experience there? <laughs> it was, I can't tell you exactly why I did it. I just felt that creating a place where people could experience my vulnerability would help them experience their vulnerability. Mm -hmm. Certainly a lot of the things I went through were very scary, life-threatening, financially very threatening, uh, very hard on my young girls and my husband. Mm -hmm. um, but I wanted to create a space where people understood that pain and suffering is part of life and that we can move through that. Right. All right. And what message do you plan on sharing with the women at the, at the conference today? It's happening today and tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be addressing kind of that balance between head and heart mm -hmm. and how women in particular have those great internal instincts and how we can balance what our minds are telling us and what our hearts feel we're compelled to do. And the best parts are when we're in alignment with both of those things. Yep, that's definitely right. Again, Katie Over Cancer is your blog. Anyone can go visit, read up. Um, to wrap up here, do you have any advice for anyone who's maybe just diagnosed with breast cancer or going through the battle right now? Uh, I think I've laid a lot out in my blog and I think visiting that and then I think just kind of being open to understanding that your life is gonna change. It's not all completely negative. There's some beautiful parts of it and okay. figuring out who your support people are early on and, and, and grabbing hold of them as, as tightly as you can. All right, Katie, well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I really do appreciate it. We are celebrating Pink Week here in Montana this morning, so every day here on the show, we are going to uh, showcase different feature stories and different uh, information about breast cancer. So good luck today. I hope thank you do you. well at the conference, and um, welcome to Billings. Glad you're able to, to visit with us. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, let's go ahead.